so i wanted to speak something into existence as far as accountability and change so meek mill we've seen his different changes and mood swings since the allegations occurred about one diddy and usher raymond and him in a threesome entanglement that has taken the internet by storm now a lot of people are gonna ask why aren't you defending meek mill why aren't you combating the naysayers and what they're saying about meek mill because one number one i am not the naysayers nor am i meek mill number two i really believe in accountability since i was in the military and my father being a minister so i really believe in this discipline of accountability especially when i read the shah or well, i took my shahada you know taking your shahada lets you understand what accountability can lead to a lot of these artists turn into these so-called activists and these cry me a river every day by night type of dudes once they go through what the everyday american citizens and people around the world have been dealing with all their life now all of a sudden because he's on some type of plateau or whatever you know what i mean and a, a pedestal that he seems to think he's higher than us now they become the voice of reason and for everyone but that's not the case here what i'm looking at is a grown man behaving as an adolescent and continually basically pushing a group of people who also behave as adolescents people who have failed to grow up through the growth of maturation and now they have taken steps back further back that is as far as to the false sense of reality that they live in meaning that we don't know what meek mill sexuality is nor do we care at least real ones like me dj bless one we don't get into all that but what we will do is click on these forms of entertainment that meek has been part of for well over 15 to 20 years we too deserve to laugh we deserve to be entertained we're not the ones pushing this we're not the ones in control but i am in a position where i could push x y and z i could literally call meek mill zesty but i haven't i only been speaking and seeking the things he put out and his so-called accusers have put out and speaking of accuser i've noticed meek mill have yet to speak on little rod and the people who have accused diddy and him to be the ones fornicating and being together in bed he calling out everybody but the ones involved he's going through canada he's going through nigeria he's going through australia he's going through argentina america south america but he's not going through the person that counts which is the man in the mirror meek has been a court jester through these hip-hop industry streets for well over 10 years he had a chance to break the raft and become one of them artists from the battle rap battle rap area that is and prove artists need to be taken serious but when you become part of the show and you already book your ticket it's too late the to reserve to come back to the real nigga time you can't your time has been expired and we've known you're tainted meek so at the end of the day these parties you've been getting into you have played with your soul for the last time young brother and we're probably around the same age but i'm calling you young brother because nevertheless you are a brother and only brothers tell each other the truth meek for 10 years you have partaken in certain activities that made you questionable to say the least and being that you're questionable at best your words kind of are invalidated you know what i'm saying it's invalid brother when you get on your pulpit and you're trying to preach to the choir it just gets to the point of when are we gonna look at pastor and be like nah get out my face and that's what the world is saying to you meek you've put your soul for sale brother that cannot be mistaken you cannot be in a high horse position if you haven't found closure within thyself first that's why it's called thyself you're having a mental breakdown and i'm looking at the people around you like who really loves this man it seems that you're the breadwinner and you can't keep up the date up the track now ross have given you significant a lot of money now people are going to say i'm wrong no i'm not your music hasn't translated into the amount of money you think you're dude and old a lot of people don't even really play your music that much anymore 
maybe probably in Philly, but Philly got a lot of better artists who aren't even industry that Philly always stand up and represent, meaning the likes of Gilly the Kid who comes from the underground era, and you came from the underground era. So if you're a Philly citizen, you don't really care about the industry and commercial hits. You're gonna be listening to that young Philly rapper coming from Southwest Philly who actually is gonna make his veterans feel his pain and feel his feelings basically and that matters we can't feel you no more meek is what i'm saying i can't see you as the braided hair kid with the dirty shirt trying to rap and get into the game i see you as somebody who partaked and got the clown nose and got the wig to go with it to match it's not dissing you brother i love you enough to see your downfall and maybe you'll never get back to that era and momentum of what you were as an artist but if i could reach out and tell you the crash is going to be far worse than the crash you're facing right now this is just the beginning of things me let the internet go get off of social media you're allowing all this because you think the marketability of free promotion like this it beats anything else but you and i both know you're waiting away slowly and you're deteriorating and we can literally see it through the fake crocodile smiles of the br brand new Colombian porcelain teeths in your mouth. We literally see it, Ot. This ain't the bedrock. No diddy pun intended. Some of these things have to be called. Let's have a commercial break, though. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm a 35-year-old white man. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? Mm -hmm. And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. I just miss Colorado sometimes, you know. Here I pretend the buildings are the old San Juan mountain range, but, you know, the job's just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. That boy don't work. He go to school and that's <laughs> it. One day he said, call me Harrison. I said, who's that? He said me. Do you believe that he is a white man? I mean, he isn't. Mm. I'd love to wake up one day and say, hey, everybody, I'm Rihanna. But I ain't. I'm a 35. <laughs> Let's get back on track. That was a good commercial break. Now, Meek Mill, the longevity of the game is to keep your boundaries and keep your soul and stay grounded to who you are. For you to run around and trying to adapt and get acclimated to a world that was never for you or part that was of you. Meaning that you're trying to be accepted in society that never looked at you the way you praise and look at them. So now you feel some type of way that same society are utilizing these tools to bring you down. You don't know which way to go, left or right, but you got to bring it back right nonetheless. So you think going on these Twitter rants and everything is helping your situation in a way is pride and ego. Every man and woman has a right to stand up for themselves and speak for themselves. But the problem is in your case, Meek, you've been doing this and outlashing on the world for the last decade or so. It's time to retire those Twitter fingers and give yourself a break. I don't know how far lower you can go, but it's not far fetched to say it can go lower. So it behooves you to behave in the right way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to leave here, man. Smash that like button, hit that notification bell. I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, the best one. With that being said, man, I'm gonna leave you guys out with positive energy, man. Feedback is everything. Love your family, love your kids, and please stay blessed. Deuces.